Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got even more Pokemon news to go over. There's been a big update for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have a fake rumor going around about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that I just wanted to put to bed today. And then we also have some Pokemon Quest footage as well of the PvP. So, a lot of stuff to go over. If you are excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment about everything we go over in today's video and subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. Keep up to date with everything to do with the franchise as well. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and take a look at the latest Pokemon news. So, starting things off, we're going to be talking about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield update. Now, this was posted on Dexerto.com. will be linked in the description down below, so make sure to go check out the article. They do usually post up-to-date stuff about Sword and Shield or whatever. I love the picture of this Kyogre, though. It doesn't look like it should be bending that way. Like, his face is like... Just, I don't know, it's just broken. I don't know, it doesn't look right. But he looks like he's having a good time. He's happy, he's smiling, so what do I know? Uh, but anyway, it's titled Pokemon Sword and Shield Patch Makes Secret Change to Kyogre and Groudon. So Game Freak have rolled out a new update for Pokemon Sword and Shield on Nintendo Switch, which changes elements of gameplay and battles in the popular game. If you're looking for the patch notes, you've come to the right place. So yeah, they basically updated, a, a, I'm guessing, quite a few things in Sword and Shield. Uh, but it says, the game's developers have been keeping the game fresh for some time now, but it's not the only Pokemon game fans can enjoy in 2021. As part of the franchise's 25th anniversary, launches of both new Pokemon Snap and remakes for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl should keep people busy. In the short term though, Sword and Shield is the flagship game and will routinely be given content refreshes. New raid battle Pokemon are added almost weekly, some with limited time events, but the May 11th patch for the title does make some tweaks to how it plays. Let's run, run through how to download the patch and more importantly, what's featured in the patch notes. Just want to quickly um, touch on this. I think it is literally like the one Pokemon game that has just been keeping up to date and just the replayability of Sword and Shield is just always there because there's always stuff um, to do. Like I say, they're doing constant raids and stuff and constantly uh, updating the events, which just makes people want to play the game more. Like, with any other game in the past, once they, once it's out, it's usually it. Like, there's nothing to do after that. And But with Sword and Shield, they're constantly releasing stuff, which is why people keep playing it. Which is, again, why I think that this is going to be the main competitive game until Gen 9 drops. Because they can con just constantly update it with, like, raids and events and even more dlc if if they did in the future again i still think there's going to be a free update where they bring back all of the old pokemon just because this is going to be the competitive hub of pokemon until gen 9 um but again we'll have to wait and see for that anyway i have to download the update i mean it's pretty self-explanatory just go to the switch console and the internet return to the home screen and launch the game download will be installed automatically i don't even know why they put that in to be fair because it's just like you can't miss it if you try and play sword and shield it just downloads it so i don't know why that's there anyway pokemon sword and shield 1.3.2 to patch notes official changes according to the nintendo support page the following has been changed in pokemon sword and shield so it's fixed the issue where some pokemon icons were not properly displaying during online or local wireless battles i had no idea about that i don't think i've battled on sword and shield for about six months now so yeah i'm, I'm not someone that battles very regularly at all and it also says several issues have been fixed to improve gameplay experience um, so yeah, I don't know what that is, but apparently the gameplay experience has been improved, so that's always nice. And it says the patch notes overall are fairly vague, as we've come to expect from the developers Game Freak, but then they have secret changes and further details. Um, so yeah, I am interested what those improved gameplay experiences are, like what it's referring to, but uh, maybe it's, I don't know, like the one big problem with Sword and Shield for me is like the online, like it just doesn't work half the time. The amount of time I try and do like a raid uh, adventure, or Dynamax Adventure, and it just kicks people out, or it just disconnects me. It, it's terrible. Like, I, I couldn't really complain about it before because the online was free, but now that I'm paying for online and the online is just so, so bad, I'm allowed to complain. So, it's terrible. <laughs> so, I want them to update that. I know it's more or less Nintendo Online and not so much Pokemon, but like, I never really have any problems with like Mario Kart or anything like that. So, maybe it is Pokemon. I don't know. Anyway, it says an annoying bug affecting Groudon has been patched in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So Pokemon trainers will be snooping around in-game for secret changes for this patch, and there are some to be found at times. Luckily for players, Cerebi has provided some more information not mentioned in the notes. They have revealed a pesky Groudon and Kyogre bug has been patched. They posted, some new updates have gone live for the Nintendo Switch Pokemon software. 
First, Pokemon Sword and Shield has received a new update bringing the game version to 1.3.2. This update provides various undisclosed bug fixes, including ones with a few battle mechanics such as causing Trick to fail on Groudon and Kyogre. So I don't know if that was just in raids or just in battles or whatever, but yeah, apparently you couldn't use Trick on those Pokemon, which is kind of mad. It also fixed an issue where Pokemon icons sometimes would not display during multiplayer battles, such as it showing Zacian or Xerneas different forms ahead of being sent out in battle if they were chosen or having their base forms if not. We'll keep an eye on what the community is talking about and update this page where needed should more specifics be uncovered. Until then, hop into Pokemon Sword and Shield to see the difference. So yeah, quite a bit to um, talk about in the patch notes. Well, I don't really know actually. I think it was quite a well drawn out article. But yeah, the main stuff is that they just fix stuff online. They fix stuff with the gameplay experience and then they fix some bugs with Kyogre and Groudon. I don't know why it was specifically those two Pokemon that it wasn't working on but either way it's been fixed now so yeah we don't have to worry about that anymore so i'm guessing if you play online quite a bit you probably run into one of those problems so yeah you won't have to run into them anymore so that's the pokemon sword and shield stuff next up we have pokemon quest so this is another kind of teaser trailer that was released regarding pokemon quest and talking more about how the pvp mode works so this is taken from pokey experto and they tweeted out saying promotional video of how the pokemon quest china pvp mode works before fighting you have to design the combat scene which is kind of mad in my opinion i actually love that so much uh, you have to design the actual combat scene before you do the pvp so i don't know if you like fight each other or if it's just a track or something like that but i guess it would take quite a while as well i don't know if you'd have to do this like every single time to design the combat uh, scene before you actually do PvP. But like I said, that would take a very, very long time. But anyway, as you can see, they are designing it. So I guess they put like their own Pokemon there in this stuff as well. Or whatever. Um, so yeah, they're just designing it really cool. And then the Pokemon are there. Yada, 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 doing what they're doing. And then I guess this is like the different teams. Um, a little bit unmatched to be fair. 50,000 against 15. Bit unfair, but we move. Um, oh, and then they... Okay, so one starts at one side and then the starts at the other side. And then, do they just fight? I guess they just fight. Bro, I wish we had this. I would actually play Pokemon Quest so much if we had this. Oh my god, they got destroyed. <laughs> they absolutely... That health evaporated. This is like... Oh man, I would actually love to do this. I would love to do this, man. This would properly get me back into Pokemon Quest, having this PvP mode. I love that. That's so cool. They have to design the combat area. I wonder who gets to design it. I guess the host. And then I guess they just get all these rewards and stuff for winning. That looks so good, man. I really, really wish we had that. God, I'm actually definitely downloading Pokemon Quest if we get that. PvP looks insane. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Pokemon Unite. Where they're like all just running and fighting and stuff. I know we've not had anything about Pokemon Unite. But yeah, I don't know. Either way, I really, really hope that we get that for Pokemon Quest um, for the rest of the world. Finishing things off, though, we have this, which has been... Making the rounds online, uh, Kelius himself tweeted this out saying, this is a bad, bad rumor. Uh, don't expect big changes. Um, I saw this on Twitter, but I, I didn't cover it because like, I was like, there's no reason to. Like, it's definitely not going to be a thing. Like, this, this, is, this is basically the rumor saying that this is going to be scrapped and we're going to get this instead. Like, no, this looks like Pokemon. This is Pokemon Masters, right? Um, but anyway, uh, the redesign, it says various leaks suggest that the character models in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl have been redesigned. These new redesigns will be showcased as part of E3 2021. So that's not going to happen. There, there is no way that they're going to do that. Like, it's literally taken from Pokemon Masters. And I wasn't even going to give this the time of day, but a lot of people have tweeted at me. A lot of people have like sent it me like, oh, is this actually going to be a thing? it ain't gonna be a thing there's no way like th this was like the, the brilliant diamond and shining pole are nearly done like i if if they do any changes at all they might do the outlines which i really hope they do um uh, but they're not going to completely change everything to that it just it just doesn't make sense this is also quite um interesting though because this person tweeted can we expect mega evolutions of some sort or should we just expect a plain remake and then Kelios, who obviously isn't uh knows an insider or is an insider says we could and it's most likely the option so obviously Kelios doesn't know if we're getting mega evolutions in brilliant diamond and shining pearl but they themselves uh, say that we could and it is the most likely option so again even more reason to get your hopes up about mega evolutions possibly being in the generation 4 remakes but that was going to be everything for today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to drop a like down below let's try and hit 500 likes 
leave a comment about everything we've covered. Uh, what would you like them to do to the graphics? Are you happy with what they're like now? Would you like them to do the outlines or would you prefer something like this? I don't even think this looks nice to be fair. I actually prefer this to this. I just All the colors are really like off and wrong and it looks so bright and I don't like that. No, it doesn't look too good at all. But uh, yeah, make sure just to leave a comment about everything we've covered. Subscribe if you're brand new. Or ring that notification bell. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.